What's up, girls and guys and chicas and chicos and el niños and el niñas? It's your girl, Ashley Simone, and I am coming to you to raise a question, and I'm going to answer it as well. So the question is, if you can read above, what do you think about interracial dating? Is it wrong? Do you agree with it? What do you think about it? Well, first up is moi. I'm going to answer my question, and I would definitely say that I totally agree with it. I think that interracial dating is perfectly normal. It's fine. Um, you should not be afraid of what other people may think of you because that's the number one thing. If you are uh, in, attracted to someone outside of your race, go for it. Whether you're black, white, Puerto Rican, Haitian, Asian, whatever, and you want to date us another uh, group of people or another person, um, definitely go for it. You cannot be consumed with other people thoughts and what they how they're going to perceive you that's not important your importance and what's most important is your happiness you cannot worry about what people think now i know for my sisters out there my african-american sisters we are so fixated on that mendingo warrior coming in on a horse and whisking us away and we create a beautiful family and you know we raise this strong black family and so on and so forth but sometimes it just don't happen like that and i've seen it so often and i see it with you know the women that's in my group of my, my circle the ones that's not married and doesn't have families already they are single and that's because they're waiting on the mandingo and i want to tell you guys the mandingo may not come so what are you going to do are you going to be single forever are you going to subject yourself to loneliness because Mandingo didn't show up and ring your doorbell? Okay, sorry, not gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen for me. What I've noticed is that once you step out on a limb and be receptive to everything, you will start attracting different people. Now, if you're afraid of not being attractive to someone outside of your race, then that's the biggest misconception right there of them all. We all have this common misconception that us for black women, I know, we think that, you know, we're not as desirable as the Kim Kardashians. And I don't trust me tell you, let me tell you something. I get so pissed off when I hear about that, how the media project, project this image about African American women being the least desirable women. Fucking lie. Excuse my French, but it's a lie, okay? I know so many guys, so many different races, and trust me, they like black women, okay? So I wish that the media would stop portraying us as these women that's not desirable. We're angry, we're disgusted, we're hostile, we're very, you know, that's all a crock of BS. You know, I think every group of, group of uh, different ethnic ethnic groups they have those type of women that's kind of aggressive or more dominant or more whatever then you have the more feminine docile play their role you know um woman in distress or uh what do you call it i can't even think of the title but um damsel in distress yeah that's it so every every group every group have those type of women that's more aggressive less aggressive more you know feminine more, you know, A type, B type personalities, whatever. So back to the whole interracial title because I can have the tendency to just go off on a tangent. But um, the common misconception is that other groups don't find us desirable. Not true at all. Trust me. I work with a lot of guys. I like. I work with a lot of women. I work with a mass group of people, very diverse group of people, which I absolutely love. And one thing that you must know, people, if you don't know, is that people find us attractive, contrary to popular belief. Yeah, people find us attractive. So, we don't have to be afraid to step out on a limb. Yes, everybody's afraid of rejection. I get that. Nobody wants to be rejected. But nobody wants to be alone either. Okay? So, my uh, suggestion and what I encourage people to do it's just live life. F what people think. If you see a nice Italian guy that you think is attractive, it doesn't hurt to step to him and say, hey, you know, how you doing? My name's Ashley. What's your name? You know, what do you like to do? You like sports? Do you like walking in a park? Do you like hiking? 
you know, you never know. Once you get past that external and the exterior and you penetrate that internal wall and you get to know people for who they are, all that other stuff, is it goes out the window. Seriously. I went on a date a couple of weeks ago with this guy that I work with. And um, he just started. Italian guy. Nice looking guy. Very funny, okay? And I just, I didn't even know that he found me attractive. And he asked, the, he asked one of our mutual friends, who was the girl with the big big hair? And um, everybody knew he was talking about me. So that just opened up the door for us to go out. And, and, you know, we had a few cocktails and we talked. And we found out that we had a lot of stuff in common. And needless to say, we're still dating. <laughs> so you may see some videos with me, him and I um, if it works. We're still in a dating phase. So we'll see how that works out. But you definitely got to step out on a limb and trust me. Don't be afraid, because you may like it. So is interracial dating wrong or right? It's right. I agree. I stand behind it. I promote it. Love is love. People are people, regardless of what they may look like or what they may appear to be. Penetrate that exterior and get to know a person. And you may find out that we have more in common than what we think we do. All right? So that's that. Tell me what you guys think. All right? Ciao.